Hello and welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorials channel. In this video, we will learn how to configure a Linux host to send emails. Also, we will do the necessary configurations to authenticate the emails so that they are not flagged as spam and delivered to the inbox of the recipients. Let's get started. First, update the apt repository. The server tells that three packages can be upgraded and we can run apt space dash dash upgradable to see what packages can be updated. Although it is always a good practice to keep all the packages up to date, I'm not going to upgrade them because upgrading them could make the video longer. However, you can run apt space upgrade to upgrade the upgradable packages and then only you can continue. Next run apt space install space postfix and hit enter. Postfix is a popular open source mail transfer agent or MTA that routes and delivers email messages between mail servers. Postfix is a robust and widely used email server that is known for its performance, security and flexibility. It is a very lightweight package and uh, easy to install when you need a Linux host to send emails securely. In the postfix configuration prompt, choose the second option, internet site, and hit enter. Now if the server has the hostname other than as displayed, you can enter that. Otherwise, leave whatever is already uh, entered and hit enter. Let's wait for some time and let the installation complete. Okay, the installation of postfix mail transfer agent on the Linux machine is complete. Let's quickly check the status of Postfix. As you can see, it's loaded and active. Next, let's open the Postfix configuration file, which is slash etc slash postfix slash main.cf and verify a couple of values. Here we should make sure that um, my hostname variable has the value of your server's hostname and it's okay with the dot invalid prefix. Next thing, uh, you should make sure that the my destination variable has values, something similar to the one that are displayed on my screen. That's all you should check here. For now, my configuration file is uh, all good. I didn't have to make any modifications, so I don't need to restart the postfix service. But if you have made any changes on the configuration file, you should restart the postfix with the command systemctl space restart space postfix and then only you should send a test email. Now we can use the mail command to send test emails. Let's try to send a test email as echo this is a test email pipe mail hyphen s test email and the recipient's email address. Oops, the mail command is not found because it is not installed yet. Let's install it and try again. Okay, the email has been sent now. We can check the email log to know the delivery status using tail space hyphen f slash bear slash log slash mail dot log. If you see a log with the text removed, you should understand that the email has been sent out from the server successfully. For further verification, let's open the email box and check. We can see a new unread email in the Gmail inbox. This proves our great work. Finally, let's check and fix another one more important thing, which is the outgoing emails are authenticated so that they are not flagged as spam content or spam emails. Let's reproduce the issue first. With the given command as shown on the screen, I'm trying to send an email including uh, from email and a random from email address. The from email address can be put anything here. A couple of times the email may be delivered to the recipient's inbox. However, in the long run, the email will be flagged as unauthenticated email or spam and will be directed to the spam folder. Let's send it and see what happens. The email is sent. Also, the email is delivered to the inbox folder for this time. Let's open it. Here we can see the warning. The sender hasn't authenticated this message, so the mail can't verify that it actually came from them. So it is considered as a spam behavior. 
let's see how to fix it. To fix it, you will have to edit the SPF record and add the sender server's IP there so that the server is considered as the authenticated source of the email. For example, I'm going to send an email with the from email uh, my name at nafix.com.au and to the email the SPF record in the nafix.com.au domain should have included the IP address of this email sender host or the server. Then the domain will be authenticated by the email sender host and flagged as authenticated. This tells the recipient server that the email is authenticated and will not be flagged as spam. Let's see how to do it. First, let's know the IP address of the email sender host. Copy the IP address and go to the DNS zone of the domain nafix.com.au. Here, search for the existing SPF record. Edit the record and add the record as IP4 colon the IP of the server. Save the record. That's all. Then verify if the domain change is propagated. Here you can see the record includes the IP address of the email sender host which means the change is already propagated. Now let's go back to the email sender host's terminal and try sending an email. Here on the from email address, I'm going to put an email of the domain nafix.com.au. Then check the log. And we can see the email is already gone from the server. Checking Gmail. We can see a new email in the inbox and it's clean now. No warning is displayed anywhere. And the from email is also the one that I included on my email send command. Okay friends, this is how we can configure a Linux host to send email and authenticate email so that they are not flagged as spam and they are not dumped into the spam folder. I hope the video was useful to you. Please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you on other videos. Till then, have a nice time. Goodbye.